When I think of the early 2000s, I remember being in middle school and just how that was such an awkward time. <laughs> I was in middle school and I was very angsty in discovering who I was as a person. I think of like all the horrible tracksuit bottoms. Think of my favorite music, early Destiny's Child, J-Lo, Ashanti, Ja Rule. My favorite era of music to this day. So there was a lot of like questionable fashion choices. The celebrity that I looked up to in the early 2000s was Avril Lavigne because she was this super fierce and edgy girl. The first CD that I ever had in my life was a J-Lo CD and I was obsessed with it and I was obsessed with her. What I was wearing in the early 2000s, I wouldn't necessarily call fashion, but I think I saw people like Gwen Stefani and was like, oh my God, she's so cool. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> When I was putting on these clothes, I was laughing. These are some crazy bold choices. I didn't think I could pull this off, and it actually doesn't look that bad, so I feel like a badass. Feeling really nervous. This is a lot more skin than I'm used to showing. Every new item, I was like, oh, I guess that this is going on my body. Okay, so let's rock and roll and stuff. Right when I saw you, I was like, Jayla? At the beginning, I was definitely feeling really self-conscious. But as the day went on, I just kind of like, I was like, this is what I'm wearing for the next few hours, and that's it. Oh my god. Looks good. Only one person knew I was Avril. I think that most people just thought I was dressing like a tomboy. Can you talk about me? Afro who? Afro Thunder? Afro Levine. Afro Levine? Yeah. I don't know what that is. I know Afro man. So they were like, oh, this is a cool new look. Well, I'm about to walk into my meeting dressed like this. I like your outfit. <laughs> Hi. Hi. So sorry. Changing up your look, huh? Yeah. People were shocked and disappointed in me. Yeah. But I, I enjoyed that. <sighs> All right, I think you look beautiful, whatever you want to do. Um, I have opinions and concerns. About to walk into the other office right now and I'm a little nervous about what my team is going to think. I feel like I should behave more when I'm with you. I'm just sitting on camera. You look like a chola from my neighborhood. Oh, thank yeah. you. ¿Qué onda, niña? What's up? <laughs> I see that tie and I see those exposed boxers. It actually made me realize that I would like to dress a little masculine. What the hell am I looking at? I think obviously this is not appropriate workplace attire. It's just weird to see that you're wearing a bikini top over your outfit. I don't very sexual, but also very badass. So I'm like very confused. Your face is 1950s, so like I don't know what's going on. Like it's like wholesome, and then down there I'm like. One thing I did notice is that fashion has really changed. Yeah, this is Avril's prime. It's Gwen Stefani in the flesh. Oh my goodness, Gwen! <laughs> it was a lot better than I expected. People didn't seem to have the reactions I thought they would. Stop, just, I love that. <laughs> J-Lo! I don't have to be completely dressed the way I normally would to still feel like myself and to still be confident. I feel like a lot of the trends in the early 2000s are not necessarily something we'd be wanting to wear today, but it's so fun. I might feel like J-Lo tomorrow when I'm wearing my own clothes, and it's something that makes me more comfortable. This is what made her comfortable and made her feel sexy. If I find the perfect outfit for me, then I can feel more like J-Lo. Every time I need to wash my hands, I have to take this off. Slightly inconvenient, 